show you a vintage project. It's been a long time since I've done anything vintage. I just have not had the time. Um, been busy going to school and working. But I am so excited. Um, most of you guys know one of my YouTube BFFs, Rosa Kelly. Her and I are uh, doing a swap. Uh, this swap is inspired by Amity Bloom, and this is a stack of vintage friendship letters. And I'm so excited to show you. Um, the details, I believe we had to do five envelopes and then one large envelope. And then I just added a little extras here and there. So um, this is what it looks like. So pretty. I'm about 90% done, or maybe 85% done. Uh, the general, everything is done. Um, I just probably make a little tag or something later. Uh, we'll make a separate video for that. But let's get started. So this first little envelope, so cute. It's a glazing envelope that I got from my friend Kelly Charter. Thank you, Kelly. And I embossed it with my rose embossing folder. Added these really cute stamps, a little, um, what is it, like a flat back, and some little uh, lace here that probably belonged to her friend that she's uh, sending the letter, um, the one that's sending the letter. Oh, my light got bright all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, wait, because there's a balloon covering it. Oh, okay, I'll move it later. <laughs> Anyways, um, this one has a little tag, and it has the little R for Rosa. And I did some gold stitching and some black stitching. Added some stickers, and then I just freehand friend here. And then one of my digital uh, images here. And then you flip it over, and then it has a little sticker here. And this uh, book page is from the 1880s. And I just love using it. And then all of the little envelopes have a little die cut. So it's so pretty. Okay, envelope number two. And they had to be different sizes, so... I used, for these here, I used my um, envelope punch board, which I love. And then once again, here's a little uh, piece of uh, fabric. Um, she's probably showing her one of her dresses, a sample of her little dress. And you know, like friends, now we can send pictures and show our friends, oh, do you like this dress? Well, back then, they would just attach little stuff to their um, mail and then this one came from France and it's so cute has some vintage stamping here my cousin gave me these stamps uh, when he worked at a bank he just he had them and doesn't need them anymore so hey <laughs> and for this oh actually for this one too I did some wax seal um, epic fell with the white one but on these I use the red one and it says for you and I just love it. I did stitching, stamping, uh, printing, embossing and on the inside it has this little rosette and this little postcard and she's sending a sample of her hair right here. So pretty, this one's from New York. Wait, did I see Paris? Okay, I'm gonna have to change that inside one. I think it went in the wrong side. Okay, and then here is the other envelope. And this one has a lot going on here. And I stitched this cute little um, flip here. And then it just, I stamped signature missing. 
This was from Australia, and I did some stamping here, which I love the stamp. And then here's more uh, textile here. Um, this one is from 1940. And then here's another little flip. And then this one has a heart. And I love, this is my favorite embossing folder. And then it opens up and it has this really pretty letter with another sample of fabric on it. My favorite color combination. And then I did st uh, stenciling here. And then it has a little cutout. Or ephemera, I should say. So pretty. And then this one is so cute. This one's special because it's a real expensive envelope. Back then they didn't use these like 65 pound bond <laughs> papers and it's in white and it has roses and it has all kinds of embellishments and here's the wax seal and then friends are like stars you don't always see them but you know they are there and we open it and it has this really pretty vintage um lace letter I don't understand what it says but it looks pretty I added the roses here and it has this pretty cut out I really truly enjoy altering envelopes I don't know why it's just since I was little I always I was just always into envelopes <laughs> I don't know why I guess that element of surprise of opening it and seeing what's inside and this one's one of my favorites because I really love these ruffles. And I put vintage finds and it just opens like this. I did some stamping. I love these stamps here. Once again, coffee dyed paper. I used my envelope punch board to make the envelope. Little heart. And I really like this one because this is a Shakespeare sonnet and it has this cute little ephemera here. And I did stenciling. So pretty. Okay, and next is this envelope here, which I love. So pretty. Has a lot going on. It has some gold stitching. And this one I did pop up on a pop dot in case she wants to remove it and you reuse it. And then it's just hooked onto this here. Okay, and then we open this. And then I added this really pretty tag that I, I made. And then I sewed on some wax paper, coffee dye wax paper. And I added this really pretty tag that says nostalgic. So pretty. And as you can see, I did stenciling on the tag. And this uh, little tag here, library card, I should say. I got from my cousin. You know who you are, girlfriend. <laughs> I have a lot of cousins that are teachers. I just don't want to say their names because I don't want them to get in trouble. Because <laughs> they brought me library cards. Um, anyways, looks so pretty. And then I got this jumbo one. I, w I used to sell these on my Etsy. I sold quite a few. They're so pretty and so nice to have. I have some gold stitching here, and then I have white stitching, and then I have black. So this is a this heirloom friendship letters. This particular one has been through the ringer. It's probably the oldest one. 
and that's why it has a lot of uh, threads probably the the Fred tried to save it many times and it's just she just keeps stitching over it <laughs> and then right here I put for the love of vintage oh and the little wax seal here that says for you and it's just kind of flips and then back here I put a little pocket this pretty tag that says dear to my heart and then of course you can journal here and so pretty and on the inside we have two jumbo index cards okay we have this one it has some little ephemera and then it has this little paper clip we have gold thread here too so pretty and then we have this one also with the gold thread on both sides so pretty I just love them okay and last but certainly not least I did a little booklet with vintage um, music paper that I got from Martha Martha Ibarra thank you Martha and this little paper clip that I got from one of the pen pals in the UK thank you UK you guys do amazing vintage work I love it and I did some gold threading here and this one is just a uh, simple this has blank pages for her to journal in and then some gold thread on the last sheets and on the cover and then I just added this little gold dangly here I mean this little dangly here and that's it guys uh, thank you guys for watching give this video a thumbs up go check out my friend Rosa Kelly check out Amity Bloom um, she has a lot of uh, inspiring projects as well and don't forget to subscribe to all our channels thank you guys for watching Bye.